on my way to a quick little doctor's visit. But you know I found something. Something for this car. Something good for this car. It's called free charging. Technically, it's not at my doctor's building. This is the building that it's at. My doctor's office is over there in that building. But the building kind of next to it, I found, has a free charger. Free charging for me. Careful, careful, careful. Nailed it. Bada bing, bada boom, we're out here doing it. What you gotta do is, wherever you go, you look on this application on your phone called PlugShare. It's a user submitted, uh, find a charge spot area. I'm distracted by another car. And pretty much everywhere I go, I open up this application on my phone and do a little checky check to see what's close to me. And look, this is how I find, this is how I find these guys at various uh, corporate office buildings, you know? Now it's a quick little walk to my doctor's office, which is all the way over there. Enhance. It's not that bad to get your steps in for the day. You get a little free energy and you make a little vlog. Wait, where's the edge of the frame? Walking in in three, two, one. Walking, walking, we're walking, we're walking in. It's windy. <sighs> My bones. Hey everyone, if you're a dirty cheapskate like me, after buying a very expensive car that you probably can't afford, you're always on the hunt for some free charging. Even though you could charge at home, but then your electric bill goes up like $20, $30, and I, I ain't got money for that. So. What do you do? Well, you go around and you find weird places to plug your car in and to get some free energy. You know, people out there are like, oh, you can't steal the free energy. But, you know, if you had the opportunity, if you got free gas, would you take it? I'm also on top of a mall right now. Not on top of a mall. I'm on top of a mall parking lot. That would be pretty cool if I was on top of a mall. That would be pretty wild. I think this mall parking lot has it has solar panels on it. All right, first thing you do when you're looking for some energy, some energy to mooch off of, you open up your telephone. You go to a little app. I have a little folder of just Tesla things, by the way. I like to organize my phone. There is an app called PlugShare. It's all user submitted. Let's figure out where we are here and we're at the we're at the mall. Let's see. First one here. Yeah. We got two available. What's kind of cool is this app tells you if their chargers are open and available. Let's go find this charger. Put your seatbelt on. Plug that in right there. I'm like a driving instructor today. This is called the steering wheel. Car is in the drive now. Get a little scoot, scoot, scoot. Drive, drive, drive. And we're driving. Oh, don't drive off the top of the parking garage. Oh yeah, those are some solar those are some solar panels up in here. Chargers are over there. Spoiler alert, I have used these chargers a lot. Like a lot, a lot. This mall has 14 chargers around it. And the first thing you need for public charging with a Tesla is a little adapter for these uh chargers because teslas have different chargers i don't know why I, it's i'm not into the whole technical thing i think they wanted to set up like a charging infrastructure and nobody else in america wanted to do it so tesla just went out and made their own thing as they do you can still use 
like any charger. You just need an adapter for some. All right, moment of truth here. Let's see if this charger is going to work. Okay, take that. You bumble around here a little bit. You try to hold the camera. You try to hold the... That's going to fall right off. All right, put the adapter on. Push the little thing. Plug a little of that. Wait for that green light. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? We don't know. It could be like, oh, oh, oh. And it's starting to charge. All right. First try, this public charger worked. Let's up that juice a little bit. Let's try to get a little bit of extra, extra energy up in here today. We're getting like 30, 30 miles an hour here. Eight kilowatts. Ooh, we're doing it. As you can tell, um, not a very uh, official Tesla charging YouTube channel. It sounds like I, I have no clue what I'm talking about. And that's mostly true most of the time. Let's go in the mall and get an Annie Ann pretzel. That sounds real good right now. Even though I don't have a lot of money. And that's what the start of this vlog was about. Being a cheapskate. You know what I think I'm going to do? When we're all done here. I'm gonna go around and test out all these public chargers and I'm gonna figure out which ones are working and which ones are broken. And then I'm gonna write on this application, oh boy, this one's good. Oh, I don't like this one, it ain't good. All right, so which one are we at now? What number is this? 13, lucky number 13. We're gonna write a little comment here and say, oh, this charger's real good. It works real good. Plug that thing right in, and I started to get that juice real fast. Comment. Lucky number 13 is doing the job. Free energy and some delicious Auntie Anne's pretzels for this Tesla fiend. It's so quiet in here because everything is still kind of closed. Is anything kind of sadder and weirder than a closed, quiet carousel in a quiet mall? I'm too early, everything's still closed. It's so quiet in here because I don't have any of the music playing. I love it. I wish all places were like this. Just quiet mall. You can just really hear your thoughts and every bone in your body creak and crack. I feel like I snuck into the mall today. Unfortunately, I got here a little bit too early, and the Annie Ann's is not open yet. I should go in this store. I don't think I'm allowed in this store. Still closed.
still close. This is the third Annie Ann's location in this mall. All three closed. Should I get these for Dan? Good God. I, I know who this is, but I don't know who this is. <laughs> it's so long. It's good God. Got it. All right, we're back in the car after a mall adventure. A little disappointed in Annie Ann's. All three of the locations took forever to get open. And then when they did open, none of them just had a regular salted pretzel. They all had the weird pretzels. So I had to settle on the old, the old trusted. Dunkin' Donuts. What was I thinking when I got this? Jesus. Let's see how we're doing with the charger here. 10 kilowatts, I like that number. Let's see how much. 41 miles. Read them and weep. I don't know why I said that. That was a bit aggressive. Let's see what other chargers work around here. Put that back. Take this cord. Wrap, you can't see this right now, but I'm putting the cord. I'm wrapping up the cord. So we can't go to this other charger because it's, uh, it's being used. These chargers at this mall fill up fast let me tell you use your turn signal especially at this mall because there's a lot of crazy people there's a lot of there's a lot of crazy white people that drive around here okay we got we got two more chargers outside by the nordstrom let's see let's see let's see Let's see, let's see, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Oh, uh, looks like this charger's doing it too. Lucky number one is working. Bless the public charging gods. You put that back, you make sure you kind of put the, the cable. Yeah, that's good enough. Right, we're gonna have to do a little back in at this spot here. No problem for me. You know, I used to be terrible at backing in, but ever since I, you know, bought this car, you kind of have to get really good at backing in. I'm fudging it right now, real good though. Fudging it really good. I'm all over the place, but let's see if I can straighten out just a little bit. Nailed it. Let's see if number two does the job. <laughs> Is that a green light? We can barely tell because it's so bright out. Killing it. We're killing it. Let's try to get a good thumbnail here. Is this a good thumbnail? As always, you put, put this back here. Nailed it. All right, 10 more to go. That one is taken. Let's see if this other one works here. Careful, careful, careful. In like a glove, in like a glove.
nailed it. Doing it. Four, four for four. So according to the official Volta app, there are only one, two, three, four chargers remaining out of 14. Like I said, people at this mall love their, their free charging. In fact, another Tesla pulled up behind me in hopes of getting some charging. Just Tesla's everywhere now. With public charging, it's free, and people are animals, and they destroy things. These, these public chargers get serviced all the time, or they have issues all the time. And it's always a gamble. It's like, will this one work? Will it not work? And if they don't work, it pretty much ruins my day. And then it's like, what's the point? I might as well just go home. I can't get free charging. The day is ruined. I'll just go back to bed and sleep and wake up and hopefully tomorrow will be better. Filled with more free charging. Okay. Looks like we're in luck. Two chargers, back to back. Don't crash the car. Just back right into this spot, like a glove, like a glove, like a glove. Nailed it. Look at this jabroni. That's a Tesla over there. They're parked right across from two free charge spots. What are you doing? Kill this back to back, watch this. Part one. Starting to charge. Five for five. God bless the Volta gods today. They did not let me down. Wrangle this cable, put that cable back. Number two. Six for six. We nailed it. All the other charge spots are taken. So we'll just end on a good note. Six for six on the Volta Public Chargers at the Columbia Mall in Maryland. And this sad boy over here, not charging. Could be, he could be. Look at that, he's right there. They're right here. What, what's going on? Just remembered, Annie Anns follows me on Twitter. So maybe I should uh, send them a little message about what happened today. Should I send this? Normally I try to avoid complaining about companies and brands on social media because it's like, eh, you feel like an entitled jerk doing that. But you know, sometimes you gotta stand for something and this is a hill I'm willing to die on and that is Annie Ann's pretzels. And I love original pretzels with a little bit of cheese. And when I don't have that option, I have to, I have to direct message the company on, on Twitter. You turn me into the bad guy in this situation. 